About five years ago, we got a request to make this. Ain't nothing but a corn dog. Corn dog. <laughs> I think we did okay. <laughs> okay, it might have been a fail. This <laughs> is the best thing I've ever done. <laughs> And our long supporter, plus D, capital R-R-E, has been patiently waiting five long years for us to try this again. Cue the music! Oh my god. So the french fry corn dog, also known as Gamja hot dog, also known as Kogo, also known as Mandiki hot dog, also known as Goblin's Club, also known as Ugly Hot Dog. I learned all of this from her. Mandiki hot dog. Hi, mom. <laughs> She's too young. Guys, you gotta hand it to the Koreans. They have a way of taking something ugly and making it beautiful or female. And it only comes at the cost of corporate manipulation. Luckily, this Korean street food won't make you pass out. It'll only upset your stomach. So to begin, we're going to need to make a batter. Mix together one cup of warm water, two tablespoons of sugar, and mix it together. Then add in our dry active yeast packet and mix that together till it gets foamy, like five to 10 minutes. Now add in one 3 fourths cup all-purpose flour and half a teaspoon of salt. Mix this together until there are no more lumps. This takes time, finesse, caress, and interest. It takes a while. Now we're gonna let this mixture set for one hour to fermentate. We're basically making wet bread. Delicious. For the potato section of this video, I'm going to do my favorite thing. I like to peel me some potatoes. How you peeling? Look at me go. The technique is uncanny. Now we're going to cut, 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 until they're a quarter inch in width, all stacked up nicely to get that perfect small dice chop. Absolutely gorgeous. I only had to waste 72% of the potato to make that happen. Now we're gonna soak them in some ice water, dry them off, and do a quick two minute pre-fry and set them aside to use later. It's been an hour, the dough is ready. So what we're gonna do is skewer our hot dog with these Amazon associate links and then dunk it into our wet dough mixture and lift up and twirl. A lot of people use this as the thumbnail for their video. First time I saw it, I thought it was cheese. It's kind of misleading, but genius. Comment below if we should change our thumbnail to this or do you like the way it is? I don't know. The algorithm just doesn't make sense anymore. Once the dog is fully coated with dough, we will roll it into our potato squares and then cover the rest in pinko breadcrumbs. Now, deep fry for five minutes, flipping halfway through, and voila, ganja hot dog, AKA Kogo French fry goblin dog. Ugly, Muduku. What do you think, Dre? Did we do it? Did we do a good job? It looks like it's going to absolutely destroy my mouth. That is actually incredible. By far one of the best ways to eat a corn dog. Eh? Eh? What do you think? Plus D capital R R E? Dude, that's awesome. That's ugly, but beautiful. Just like me. Redemption 2.0. Dude, thank you for uh, you know pushing us to do this again. And uh, if you have any other requests, <laughs> let me know. Now for the Korean cheese dog, similar but different. I shall explain. We're gonna take our hot dogs cut them in half, and then you're gonna skewer one half of the hot dog and the other half of the cheese. We chose fresh mozzarella. That way when you bite, you have two separate experiences in your mouth. Now with the same batter, we're gonna fully coat our cheese dog and then roll it into plain breadcrumbs before deep frying. Finally, we will finish this off with a ziggity zag of ketchup and mustard, and voila, Korean cheese dog. Please, let there be cheese pull. Oh, <gasps> yeah. You did a good job. Hell yeah. Oh. If you're not a fan of hot dogs, it's a perfect recipe for you. Just eat the tip. JP, I haven't even gotten to the hot dog yet. And for our last style, we're gonna repeat the same steps from the cheesy version and roll them into Flaming Hot Cheeto Dusty, a very popular ASMR snack on YouTube. And also we feel it adds a bit more personality to our thumbnail. Yup. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yup. Uh. And there you have it, folks. Korean street food at home. Nice. <laughs> what do you think? We did it? Dude, that's awesome. If it's not too normal, super wacky, culturally friendly, 
a little bit scary, challenging, but not too difficult, maybe, just maybe, the next episode will be your request.